um, the authenticity is nothing but honesty. It's nothing but honesty. So we need to be honest to ourselves, and um, then it's it depends on our self esteem. So you, your self esteem is very high, and you behave very authentically. Like, uh, like for example, I I would like to uh, simplify things, but I I'm not here to complicate things because the complex things, no. So I'm here to simplify. Um, my idea is making everybody understand. So I, I give example instead of definitions. Definition you can read from Google or textbook. You can read it, uh, get the definitions. I don't want to go for definitions. I'll give you examples. See, um, the few years before I was watching a TV, there was an advertisement. An young girl entered into a big office space, big office. Um, the CEO or some boss asked the girl, why do you come in auto? Uh, she's a banker. She's working in a bank. She recently joined. The chief executive or the senior boss asked, why do you come in auto? She said, no, sir, he's my dad. So that's authenticity. You need not hide your, um, you know, you not tell people to get respect. No, you not tell my father is this, that. You can be very honest. If you're honest, so you are not going to lose anything. Um, so that is sir, the yeah. Sir, that was a washing uh, soap ad. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. No, I saw in a um, yes, yes, yeah. It's a washing soap advertisement. Yeah, I forget that. I, I I took the message. Yeah, you are right. It's a washing soap advertisement. Um, see, that is authenticity. Say uh, saying people that I'm coming from this background. There is no point of hiding it, and if you hide. Um, or, um, to get respectability, then the urge will be there always. Somebody will find out and you'll start faking more and more, more and more, more and more, and your life will become the fake. Then you cannot be very comfortable. And always you, you have to be alert. Somebody will find out. So you tell people, no, I'm coming from this background. And you you rose to some position um, because of your hard work, because of so many things. So there's no point in hiding. So that's called authenticity. You can be authentic. Um, like I was telling about jewels, um, because it's not, uh, I'm not a bias, um, I'm a woman. No, it's not, a, it's not like that, but mostly women, men also, men will have different things. Men want a car, the young boys want a bike, because bike is good. You can go quickly. I can go wherever you want to go. But the boy demand bike because his friend got a bike. So that's not the right thing. See, if a friend got a bike, that's, see, um, uh, my neighbor is a doctor. He's having a car. It's fine. You need a car. But I was working in university. My residence is inside the campus. I don't want a car. I can go to my office uh, within two minutes. I can walk two minutes. And all my, I was in Bombay. All my market, everything is nearby. I don't want a car. And parking is a big problem. I, I'm not talking about me. And most of the professors there doesn't have a car. Um because some clerks have cars, because they want to show their social status, no? Um, so it's authenticity. Somebody has where is your car? You can tell, no, no, I don't have a car. You need not to know it's, uh, uh, I give to workshop. This, you, you, you need not tell lies. That, that's called authenticity. See, whatever you have, display it to the world. And you have some good thing, display it. And uh, you do not have much thing, you display it. There is no harm. See, I, I, can, I can do logo therapy, I, can do, I cannot sing, and I cannot dance. So I need not hide. No, no, no. I was dancing when I was in school. I should tell lies. No, we can tell honestly. So you are not going to um, disregard me because I don't know dance. Nobody is going to do that. Uh, you are uh, regarding me. You are calling me here, but only because I'm, I, I can speak a little bit of slogan therapy. That's why you called me. So I, if I do justice to this, that's more than enough. I need not uh, hide, hide or fake. Or, um, so that is... That is called authenticity. So everyone can live in a very authentic life. At the same time, if you have a skill and if you have something um, 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 visible uh, skill or some, uh, you, you have some good deed, something you have, you do that properly. You do that. See, uh, don't worry about money. Don't worry about social status. Don't worry about what others think. So the most of the people, no, they are always worried about what others think instead of what they are comfortable to them. Uh, in this process, you are losing so many things, like job. Everybody wants to see because the family, no? Uh, everybody wants their uh, daughter and son to become a doctor because somebody become a doctor in their family. So 
the parents will be in a competition with them. But in that competition, they are losing the children's talent. The child may be skilled in something else. Um, you need to find out that and encourage that. And um, see, that it's not only a doctor's job in the world. There are so many other prestigious jobs. There are so many other things out there. Then again, you need not compare. Somebody is in a very good position. I am not in the position. You need not compare. This is yesterday I told you about the yaga yajna. Um, so in ancient days, the big yajnas will conducted by some ritvik, some big priest, and he will be respected by everybody. But without woodcutter, it, it, the, you cannot lit the fire there, no. So he is also doing the job, and the woodcutter cannot feel that I am no, I am nothing. No, he is a cook, a Anyone can chant a mantra, but without wood, you cannot do that. The woodcutter play a very crucial role, and the milkman. There are so many people. The bricks man who make bricks. Without bricks, they cannot put that uh, um, um, that uh, this one no altar or whatever. So everybody work for that. Like whatever do work you are doing, it's sacred. Whatever work you are doing is sacred. Teacher, it's a sacred job. It's a uh, uh, it's it's how do you perceive your job? That's the question. See what you are doing is immaterial. How do you see the job? See very long ago, one teacher. Uh, when I was a young boy, I was reading the newspaper. One teacher, um, uh, she became a uh, ad uh, admissus. Then slowly, slowly, she became the correspondent. Then she retired. After retirement, he started working in various schools as advisor, these, that, curriculum development. And she was continuously working up to the age of 83. At the age of 83, her body became very weak. So now she is she's not able to travel. She's not able to speak. So she wanted to retire. That's why that time uh, there was a press conference and press fellow asked her, so why do you want to retire now at this age? She told me, I, she told me, uh, not told me, she told the press, I lit so many lamps. So this lamp further lit uh, further lamps. So now I can retire. She, she's a teacher, um, but she she's, uh, perceives her job as something enlightening the world. I already enlightened, I, I, I lit the lamp. So this lamp will further lit so many other lamps. Or you can think every day morning, you know, I have a job, you know, this 40,000 or 50,000 salary. I need to go to the school, all these bloody students. Um, They're um, good for nothing. Um, what the hell, what I'm doing? You can think like that also. That you are making your life uh, hell. You can think that way also. What you're going to do is same. You're going to teach children. But how do you see the job is different. Um, job is same, but how do you perceive your job that is different? That makes a lot of difference. That gives you the meaning, that gives you the purpose of your life, that gives you joy. You may, feel, you may feel that you are doing a sacred job. The same job, you can feel that it's a so horrible thing and um, you can feel that it's unwanted thing. I get into this job uh, due to some father. You can blame somebody also or you can take it in a positive manner also. Like whatever you're doing, you see that in a very positive manner. You cultivate the habit of seeing that in a positive manner. That is, um, it's connected with logo, um, this one, authenticity, um, that you are, you are exercising your freedom and you are finding a purpose of your life. Um, so this, this comes like this. So authenticity, I, I, I hope that all of you understand what is authenticity. There's genuinity. You need not tell lies. You need not fake. If you don't have a shirt, you need not borrow a shirt for somebody to go for a meeting. You can go with whatever shirt you have. The content, your, your role is important than your dress. Somebody may say dress is also important. Dress is important. You cannot go in a dirty way. But if you don't have a shirt, you need a borrow from somebody else. And nobody is going to give you a position only. If you go for IAS interview, um, they will not um, give you the job only because of your dress. They will see your uh, capability. They will see your uh, personality. They will look into your academic background, uh, whether you clear the test or not. They don't look into a dress. I, I, I'm not saying you go with a dirty look. No, you, you have to go in a very polite, decent manner. But you cannot give over emphasis on this unnecessary uh, accessories. Okay. Um, I hope all of you understand authenticity. Um, if you are not, we can discuss again uh, after some time. See, one more thing. Um, the logotherapist, especially Victor Frankl, um, while dealing with a client. Um, the core idea is meaning of life and authenticity and freedom. 
but while when you're dealing with a client he noticed so many people um, the problem no he identified people are not able to understand that they are not alone everybody is alone in this world i am alone you are alone i am living in a family i have a mother i have brother i have my daughter i have my wife but if i get headache nobody is going to share my headache and if i got a promotion uh, they can have the financial things but um, this is my promotion and you are alone so this idea you need to understand you are alone um, in this world so many people are there but you are alone you are going to face all your problem yourself so this is not um put forward to hate others no others also alone especially my wife she is also alone uh, my daughter is also alone so everybody is alone in this world so we need to give company to them it's not to hate no 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 you will not be there when i am so you you are not going to come there no I'm, it's not uh, making you to become a sadhu no you you will, you will live in this world and understand you are alone everybody is alone in this world and everybody is undergo their own pain their own pleasure their own feelings um the no one will share but in the pathological the people with mal adjustment people they will come forward and tell no nobody is loving me see there is no point in uh, baking love no and the, no nobody is uh, giving me respect and uh, they they come and complain so these are all um, the false things that uh, false notion in the mind so you are alone and your pain you have to undergo your pain and others also having similar pain you need to understand that and uh, um, even your joy um, you are experiencing some joy you can share with others but the uh, the amount of joy the other person will not get that and they will get they will get a certain degree of uh, your joy they can share but not 100% so everybody is alone you need to face the world alone so that uh, one of the concept that we need to understand the client now you need to understand uh, um, when uh, he is putting forward his problem you need to understand this is problem you make him understand he is alone you need to face this problem you only has the problem is problem people are there to help the therapist says to help him but he need to solve his problem if he is not able to solve he is he is reluctant to solve nobody can help the wife cannot help father will not help even therapist can even god cannot help until he do, he do justice for himself so that he, he need to understand um so i am telling all these things when you are going to face client the client the people will come up with all these type of problems you need to understand what is the where is the problem located then you need to help them to overcome that uh, you can make them understand they are alone and uh, the problem is there they have to solve the problem you cannot expect somebody will come and help people say nobody is helping me no one will help um um you have to solve your problem if you are expecting somebody to come forward and help then uh, you cannot solve your problem throughout the life nobody will come the people will come uh, they will act like helping but you have to help yourself again i am telling you this is not make you to become a sadhu no you can live in this world happily with others uh, you can share everything but you need to understand that problem is yours and you have to solve your problem others also are having lot of problem their their own problem people are facing their own problem any doubt we can ask then we can go story today we can go little story because i want you people to understand thoroughly uh, sir i have a doubt um, yeah um sir when you are talking about uh, authenticity yeah. um uh, the uh, i mean the enneagram 1 you know the um, reformer i don't know uh, if you know yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so they um, i have uh, some clients uh, there in uh, though in that and they are um, they actually little issue. louder please okay can you hear me now yeah i i am able to hear i am able to hear yeah okay yeah, okay yeah. okay so um these enneagram 1 they have um, this aspect of being honest um yeah. they have to be honest and uh, they are so um, they are very loyal and i mean they are very honest people um, and authentic uh, the thing is they also expect the same from others 
you yeah, know, yeah, because they, yeah. they are That's, like yeah. that. So um, for them, though they know that uh, in their mind, intellectually, though they know that that it is not reality to expect the honesty from others, somewhere there is always a pain for them when they face that yeah. betray betrayal or when they face yeah. that. Uh, so it is very even if they. it's not that they don't know they know this intellectually mm. but for them to um, accept you know this uh, part of uh, others it's okay i am honest but it's okay if others are uh, not yeah. honest or if they are betraying yeah. for them to accept it really takes because their whole personality is around being honest and all yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah. at this time how can we help them you know how can we help them to accept they and they know it's they always tell us that it i know that i have i can have to not expect this but i'm not able to so there is this um, uh, you know pain in them yeah so yeah, how can yeah, we help yeah. them with logotherapy yeah and yesterday i told you the pain is part of human existence guilt is part of human existence no one can live in this world without any pain no one can live in this without any betrayal um and no one can be very honest no one can be um because a part of existence uh it's not a personality type or it's not my background no the existence itself um is when you have a body it will get sickness you will get headache you cannot avoid it like there is some social issues there are so many things there are smallest molecules will happen uh it's not in your control this world is full of um that you need to survive in this world you need to uh, understand the part of life the betrayal is a part of life and uh, it it make you understand um, more about yourself yesterday i told you the uniqueness i i underwent certain sort of betrayal i underwent certain sort of uh, uh, um inadequacies i underwent some sort of uh, um guilt i underwent some sort of it's molded my personality and it give me um, um what is called that's why i am different from you uh, you are different from me it make you uh, choose a career to help you to choose a life a life partner it help you to choose a, a place to live because people are very unique so without this betrayal see that you cannot be hedonous you cannot assume that yeah, i need to get everything you cannot get it in this world so that is see that is a core of existentialism why we have um, um, logotherapy is um, taken of philosophy from existentialism according to existentialism when you are exist you need to face this problem you cannot overcome this that you you have to make the guy uh, the client understand um whether uh, irrespective of his personality that's a part of life the betrayal will be uh, embodied with the human uh, life you, you cannot avoid it either one way or another way and someone may get a big thing someone may get lighter one but i told you extra now even uh, if you are a daughter of a very rich man you lack something like freedom uh, if you born in royal family you won't get any freedom even they uh, they ask you to dress in the way in the, this way behave in this way talk in this way you, you you lost freedom the street boy enjoy a lot of freedom but uh no one will ask him uh, ask him to go here come here do like this no we have a lot of freedom so why i am telling this no see this is a part of life no one can um, um have a um, 100% satisfying life this is a part of life that you need to accept it life means all this will come uh the hedonist uh, some hedonist always think no 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 i want this i want pleasure no you can't get pleasure in this world um you need to make this life pleasurable You, you you are there to convert that into like the betrayal you the betrayal you need to laugh okay people are like this laugh laugh at people people doesn't know how to behave people doesn't know uh, they are not able to understand my worth they betray with me and uh, they doesn't know my worth uh, you laugh that's the only way laugh at people laugh at yourself laugh at your own uh, uh, problems the laugher is uh, another uh, therapy in uh, logotherapy another method of laugh laugh means laugh loudly the behavior therapy has to laugh loudly you know laugh because when when i was writing my phd thesis um i was uh, working because academics you know get leave they'll get leave one year two year for writing phd thesis but i was not i, I was an academic setup but i was not a teacher i was in the research so they won't give me leave and i took a topic of uh, my patient like uh, spirituality and uh, therapy now uh, it's a mix of spirituality therapy meditation and western uh, things and logotherapy as a mix of uh, um, so many things 
uh, that time I was working in a, a crime uh, data analysis job. The morning time, the whole day, I was doing literature survey, I'm doing data analysis of crime. Evening, I, I come home, I work on spirituality. Um, that time, my daughter was very small and I need to take care of her. And um, there are domestic things, work. Uh, writing this was very tough for me for the time. Um, so I, I have a small company of people, similar people, those are working and doing PhD. We used to meet and we used to laugh. Okay, uh, I took PhD unnecessarily. Uh, uh, we used to laugh at each other. Uh, they also don't know I get delayed because of uh, family domestic compulsions and the job pressure. We used to laugh, okay, what to do? The stress, no, the amount of stress, I just laugh at myself. Then I'll come back and I work. Night, now I won't sleep most of the day, uh, especially when the drafting time, um, the six months, you know, mostly I, I, uh, I have not slept properly. Uh, two days I work, one day I will sleep like that. Then a lot of stress, but we laugh because we already choose. No, I cannot blame anybody. I only uh, register myself. I only took this job. See, somebody, so many people told me, you take the crime data, then it will be easier for you. I only chose this topic and I only chose the time. Then I have a family, I have a daughter, I have to choose the time. I cannot blame anybody. Then I started laughing. I laugh at myself. So that, that minimizes my, uh, um, uh, this one, um, stress or negative. That's the only way, laugh at people. You tell the, you, the guy, you have to understand the life is not, uh, it's not a life is not a cakewalk. You need to undergo all this stress, pressure, betrayal and uh, disappointment. Um, and no one is perfect, I'm telling you, because I am a perfectionist. When I was young, I was very perfect. I want everything perfect. But I, I understand I am not perfect. Um, um, so no one is perfect. And no one is... Uh, um, it's a mindset. I, I assume I am a perfect man. Uh, but it, it was not. And see, uh, when I was working in a, um, under one director, one, one, one big professor, he used to, we have a big team of 25 people. And he used to tell us to make mistakes. He encouraged because in order to prove yourself, not a machine. Uh, to prove yourself as a man, you make mistakes. Mistake is allowed. <laughs> because machine will not make mistakes. You will make mistakes. To prove yourself, you make mistakes. He encourages us to make mistakes. So we are not a machine. We are human beings. We need to make mistakes. You, you make them understand all these things. And uh, um, you need to laugh at people. That's the only way. See, um, I, yesterday I was, I went to some government office while coming back, I took an auto from here. Um, then I was watching people, they're waiting for the bus. The bus slowed down and uh, it didn't stop. The people are smiling. Um, the smiling of their own failure, failure to catch the bus. They're, why they're smiling. And see, it happened to me also when I was young, when I, uh, I used to travel in the bus, it happened to me also. Sometimes auto, they won't stop. Uh, what I do know, that man doesn't want my money. Let him go. <laughs> I, I don't feel that's my failure. That guy that doesn't want money. That so I have money, I can give to somebody else. Um, you need to uh, take uh, disappointment in such a manner. If the guy doesn't uh, deserve me, then there are somebody else deserve for this role. You make him understand. You need to talk like that to that guy and make him understand uh, the... Life is full of uh, dis disappointment, and there are good people also. And uh, you cannot uh, always around good people. Mm. Okay. So shifting the like somewhere we are re revolving around pain. So just yeah. and then on one side we are re revolving around pain, and other side we are not able to accept the existential reality. So yeah, shifting. Yeah, yeah shifting understanding the accepting the existential reality yeah, 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 and yeah. laughing at our own selves uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. thank you so and much and yesterday 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 i was talking about uh, de reflection and de reflection is something um, uh, related to and skip the topic because it's a little difficult uh, de reflection is nothing but detachment like they have, like our hindu signed you no know, they detach uh, they detach even from their own thoughts uh, they simply watch their thoughts um, detach yourself uh, like your, your pain you detach yourself there is pain and you detach and you just laugh at your own pain the, I was expecting too much that's why uh, I got the disappointment you laugh at yourself uh, see, I should not uh, expect this guy to give me this uh, I wrongly choose the guy and laugh 
uh, uh, so I'm not asking you to blame yourself, but laugh, uh, detach, detach yourself from uh, the detachment is one of the uh, major thing in logotherapy. You 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 should make people to understand what is detached. You should live in this world with a detachment because I'm doing my job uh, like uh, Bhagavad Gita. No, I don't want to drag the religious uh, scripture here, but there should there should be some de- amount of detachment. See, we are raising our children. We are expecting the duties, but sometimes they may not do that. Um, so, for the sake, we cannot um, we cannot evade our responsibility. We are doing whatever we are we are best we are doing, but we cannot expect them to do that. So, we are uh, I am detached. I am doing this for the sake. I am the father. I need to do this, but I am not expecting uh, my daughter will uh, grow up and she will give me all these things. I am detached Even in my office. Sometimes I'll put forward some idea. My boss may not take some time. He may be under some other pressure. I need not feel bad about. Okay, if he's not taking, it's fine. Tomorrow he may take. He may not take also. But I will put forward my ideas. I put forward my views. I don't. Uh, uh, no, he is not going to take my view. Why should I express? No, I, I because this is my responsibility to express. Taking it, that is that is his problem. I, is, I have some degree of detachment. So detachment is very important um, uh, in order to be happy in this world. Um, Little detachment. We are doing all the job, but little detachment. We are not expecting. Um, see, when I'm when I'm dealing with somebody, I cannot expect hundred percent loyalty from that guy. At the same time, I cannot do uh, um, uh, injustice to my job. I'm doing my job with full justice, but I am not expecting that guy to do the same amount of justice. I'm little detached. If it's mm-hmm. did nicely, it's fine. Otherwise, also it's fine. I did my job. That's all. In even relationship. I gave my uh, um, full loyal honesty, but I am not expecting the same thing from uh, other party. So he or she uh, has the freedom to do whatever they want to do. But I, from my side, I'm, uh, I did my job. So that type of detachment you have to cultivate. Uh, yesterday I was talking about the uh, de-reflection. De-reflection is some aspects of detachment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So any, any other question? Yeah, I have yeah, a question. Please, please, yeah. So yeah. you said uh, that the existentialism holds this, this outlook of I am alone and I have to solve all my problems. And it uh, seems to have uh, something, you know, it's significant to uh, look at from that perspective, but it seems like a, a pessimistic outlook in a sense that, you know, just dropping someone and saying, okay, you are alone and you are supposed to solve all your problems. So from a, in a counseling setup, how do we communicate this idea that you are alone and you know you have to solve your problems without you know giving away the hope that you know? Yeah, yeah. no, no, you need to give hope. Um, the entire uh, logotherapy is about future. It's about hope. Uh, it's about hope and uh, uh, futurist. It's not we are not uh, banking on our past. That's a uh, um, Freudian. Freudian school says about the past, past occurrence. The logotherapy is very much positive, positive uh, future possibilities. Uh, we are looking at the future possibilities, not about the past. Uh, at the same time, uh, alone means, so we cannot take it negatively. Um, because when I understand I am alone, it gives me a lot of joy because I, um, um, you understand? It's it's a it's a positive thing. It's not a negative. Uh, it's not to hate others. It's not to hate my daughter. It's not hate to my uh, wife. It's not hate to my brother. It's not like that. But my problem, I need to solve my problem. Uh, they will help me. They are there to help. They may help or they may not help. Uh, but I need to solve my problem. This is my. I need to address my issues. I cannot. You are not able to understand. I need to understand the way to communicate. We cannot blame others because you are not able to understand me. But I am not able to communicate properly. You cannot blame others because they are not able to understand you. But you are not able to communicate properly. You need, uh, you need to find out the way of communicating you are... Uh, in that sense, I am telling, I'm te- I'm telling you are alone. So you need to work on your own... Um, uh, what is called? Your own issues, your own problem. You need to understand your problem. You cannot expect, no, I have a problem. You are not helping me. See, they, he may not know what is your problem. So you need to walk. You need to tell them very... See, if you have somebody give you a uh, glass of water, they will give you. Without asking, no, no, you are not helping me. How can they help? 
um that's why i'm telling see you need mm-hmm. to understand what is your problem mm-hmm. someone see therapy you cannot go and tell your client this is your problem you need to work out you need to come and uh, come forward and tell you sir this is my problem yeah. you need to work it out you so cannot saying, tell yeah is taking responsibility for yeah, 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 the yeah, problem yeah, yeah, at yeah, the same yeah. time also taking yes, responsibility yes. for my needs and to communicate those needs so that they are met yeah not only need and communication mm-hmm. and even your pain your pleasure your uh, yeah. and you are the author of your life you are the author of your um, um uh, pain um and uh, uh, you cannot blame anyone and there also have a lot of problems and we are coex we are we are living in the society we are living in the family everybody is uh, helping each other at the same time you should own your uh, um, uh, problems you should own your responsibilities uh, you can ask if you ask they will help you but without asking how can you expect them to come forward and help i have a problem mm-hmm. you are not helping me how come they help you because you are not able to understand your problem how come other person will understand your problem so you need yeah. to work it on your problem if you ask help people are people are there to help you the in that sense no i a logotherapy says you are alone it's hmm. not, it doesn't mean that you need to go away and you become a sadhu and uh, it's never preached like that yeah. okay okay thank you okay. hope you understand yeah okay uh so can i just uh, um i'm having a bit of a problem trying to reconcile uh, being genuine yeah and, and also uh purpose in life i'll give you an example in my case yeah. uh I, i am a qualified accountant you know and i've been quite successful and i've worked around the world and um uh uh and i was good at it and it paid all the bills but the uh, but coming to uh, uh you know uh to the end of my career i find that i didn't have uh, i'm still searching for a purpose in life uh yeah. you know uh so is that is that just um is that genuineness uh, that has changed over time i mean i did something what people expected me that i was expected to do well or is it something that uh you know that's evolving uh, uh genuineness there um see um um see the purpose of life everybody is searching the purpose everybody and some people fascinatedly discover that uh, as i discovered my purpose so that it it won't come to you uh, um, um, within a day that constantly you need to search for a, a meaning uh, when you find out your meaning of your life the purpose will automatically it will come uh, right. the meaning the meaning the meaning of your life so it's it's i yesterday i told you it is there is no god given meaning is there is no fixed formula everybody is finding out a purpose for a living everybody is finding out a purpose for our own pain uh, everybody is finding out a purpose of uh, the family um so whatever you are doing you are finding a purpose um uh, meaning meaning for your own life you need to give a meaning to your own life like i told you about the teacher the right. teacher uh, the uh, teacher uh, Uh, assume my job is something enlightening enlightening the people uh, other teacher may think oh no, no i am doing this job for this little salary uh, how do you look into that 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 give you the meaning of your life um i i hope you are an accountant and uh, um you can find a meaning for your job or it's not necessarily job uh, you can do something outside also like you some charity or some um uh, what is called not only charity um um even in community uh, you yes. can be a, a in your community or even your family in the extended family um you can find a meaning um right. see i'll tell you one thing um i was uh, not supposed to talk certain things but i'll tell you uh i got some mystical experience very long ago uh, i i don't want to discuss because it's very controversial not controversial it's very difficult to articulate See, after that i understand my mere per- my mere presence itself is having some purpose my presence uh, for an example if i go to uh, my extended family i don't do anything just if i visit there it's doing lot of things automatically i i'm not doing anything if i go similarly if i go lot of things happen uh, you need not consciously choose something to do if you if you visit your extended family so many things will happen automatically it's a chain reaction things will happen Uh, that you need to be sensitive to understand that 
I become so I am uh, I become so what is called uh, perceptive in that in that uh, in that stage. I able to understand because I become a vegetarian. Then I slowly understand. I never preach vegetarianism to anybody, but when I go to my relatives' place, they ask me what to cook for you. Then slowly, slowly, so many people become become vegetarian. I never preach, but I after twenty years now I saw half of my relatives are vegetarians, and I never discuss with them because of me. No, I never told them because. Um, um, you understand because my presence yeah. make lot of things. Not only that, because some people feel so happy, some people mm -hmm. may solve their problem. Uh, I don't do anything. Just like similarly, uh, it's not necessary to do so, something very big thing. Me or your presence. You, see, you are, I, I hope you are married. You are a father. I hope uh, your mere mere presence in the family doing lot of things for them. You understand? See, yeah. you yeah. you need not choose very consciously. Things are happening mm -hmm. automatically. Like yeah. I used to tell people about the tree. There is a tree in front of my house. Uh, the tree doesn't know; it's not conscious. It doesn't know what is what it is doing, but it's giving shelter to so many birds, and it's it's cool down the earth, and uh, it's, it's a responsible for uh, giving rain. And it's do lot of things, but the tree doesn't know what is doing. Right. Similarly, we are doing lot of things without our awareness. Here, we are. I am making you to understand that you are doing so many. Good things in this uh, in this existence without your awareness. If you are aware, then your life will become a, a, a celebration. Every day it becomes joyful because you are, you understand that uh, your presence is making a lot of things. So you need not consciously discover. You need not break your head to understand what is your purpose. You are serving your purpose automatically. But if you know consciously, then it'll, uh, it it give you a joy in your life. Okay. But try to do, try to discover in what way you are uh, serving, in what way you are. Uh, you you need not think thing very new. Um, 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 in this life itself, you, you might have done so many things. Now you just think about it, then you will discover your purpose. Okay. Any other question? Okay, um, the other aspects of the logotherapy, yesterday I gave you a very brief idea, like guilt. Um, the guilt, again, again, um, um, I'm telling you, no one can live in this world without any guilt. I told you, if I eat more, I feel guilty of depriving something, somebody. If I'm not eating properly, I feel guilty because I'm not doing justice to my body. So the guilt is a part of our life. Um, it's not like the clinical uh, guilt. The mild anxiety, mild guilt is always will be there. So that guilt helps us to understand how to make our life very meaningful. Like some rich people um, become very charitable, like Narayana Murthy and um, so many rich people. Um, uh, like this, uh, what it called, the guy, I forget his name, Vipro, Vipro's chairman. Vipro. Yeah, Vipro's chairman. Uh, he donated all his 90% uh, of his uh, uh, wealth because that guilt feeling, because he earned a lot of money. And uh, when you look around, uh, people are suffering with poverty. So many people are under poverty. So he started donating. So like, it's not, it's not necessarily you donate your money. You can share your knowledge. You can um, uh, do so many things in this world. You can be a, a what is called a torch bearer. You can be a, a uh, enlightening person, you can enlighten enlighten people, or you can do whatever things. It's not necessarily to donate money. Um, that only because of the guilt. The guilt will motivate you to become a good person. Uh, if you don't have, if you don't feel guilty, you know you you cannot be a good person. Uh, sir, there is one question in the chat box, but the person is unable to uh, say it because you know they, uh, got some you know throat issue. Yeah. So I will read it out. Yeah, please, please, please. If if we are alone, not yeah. blaming others, not yeah. expecting anything, yeah. accepting the reality that no one is there for you, then why and what are we living for? No, I never said that um, no one is there. I never said people are there. No, alone. I think probably she would have 
meant this alone word she had taken yeah, so yeah, you yeah, can yeah. you can maybe explain that yeah. thank you yeah, yeah yeah see alone means alone means i i, I repeatedly like told you it's it's not uh, make you to hate others uh, it's not uh, um, giving justice to uh, discard your family it's not uh, uh, to become a sadhu alone means that you simply take a headache i have an headache migraine headache i cannot share it with others no so i need to experience my headache i need to find out a way to my solutions i cannot blame somebody for my um, uh, headache no uh, you are creating noise that's why i'm getting headache people will create noise because they want to live in this world and uh, alone means that uh, you cannot take it literally it's not uh, very literal things but alone means the uh, your other person is also alone like your wife your daughter your child your child everybody is alone in this world so you need to help them simply you will get help from them but you have to take your own responsibility you cannot fix your responsibility to somebody else you need to take your responsibility so it's not alone means it see uh, see this is in the context of death when you are dying nobody will come with you no you have to die alone when you born you are you born alone and all these other people are the fellow traveler in this uh, life um they cannot uh, take 100% response they are fellow travelers uh, when when i born alone when i die alone i am alone in this world my life i have to live my life but there are fellow travelers i can share my food i can share my time i can share my joke i can share my joy i can share my um, um what is called whatever there are people to share but this is my life this is my journey this is my uh, uh, this uh, this my responsibility to uh, make my life proper we cannot sit in a place to blame others the in that context we need to take it it's not literally it's not literally alone there are a lot of people hope hope you understand okay uh, so that uh, so that need to discuss little more elaborately but okay because lack of time um, we'll switch over to next topic we'll we'll come back in the next session all this we, we will recap all those things uh, see now i am talking about the guilt the guilt is fundamentally making you a good person because because now i i'll tell you i used to eat lot i am a foodie then i understand some some of my cousins are um, deprived of food so it's not good to um, i'm eating alone if i give some money to them i'm not going to lose anything um, drastically it, it doesn't mean i need to give all my money because my family need no uh, uh, it's not like that but i stop uh, uh, eating um, indiscriminately now i am very choosy i eat little uh, like I, i feel guilty i waste food then i feel guilty now i don't want to be waste food because there are so many people are deprived of food uh, so i now eat which is necessary for me the guilt feeling is really really is motivate motivate you to uplift yourself that is uh, uh, pushing you in the um, uh, master in hierarchy from the lower level to higher level the guilt is a very fundamental force to push you to the push you to the um, take you to self esteem it will take you in the uh, without guilt if you feel if you are enjoying the life then you cannot uh, move to other layer of uh, master in hierarchy if you enjoy everything if you feel guilt of enjoying then you, you will move to the next next layer of the master hierarchy the guilt is very fundamental for our growth it doesn't means that clinical uh, depression uh, like clinical depression clinical uh, guilt we need to address but the mild degree of uh, guilt will be everybody see we are hiding a see uh, what happen uh, we are trainer to look outward uh, now the logo therapy sir yeah. one question can i can i ask in between because uh, yes yes you can you can you can on, on guilt see yeah. suppose you know i have a guilt feeling yeah um, say i need to apologize to somebody or something like that or i am yeah. not uh, i have done some wrong doing but that yeah. person uh, passes away yeah yeah so uh, what happens then how to get over that 
Uh, no, see, um, the guilt, existential guilt is not like uh, I do something wrong to somebody else. Even our uh, presence in self is create some guilt, like eating, like earning money. Uh, it it gives you guilt. It's not I'm doing something. If I do something, you say sorry to them. If he died, it's fine. Uh, you don't do these others. That's it. Uh, you understand yourself. See, you are capable of doing. Uh, see, um, logotherapy. Uh, humanism says man is basically good. Um, humanism says like logotherapy doesn't say lo, not existence doesn't say it's like this. Man is capable of good. Man is capable of bad also. Man can do horrible things in this world. So the existence some accept the both side of humanity, uh, human possibilities. Human is capable of doing a lot of good things. At the same time, man is capable of doing a lot of bad things also, horrible things also. The existence some accept that that aspects of human being. So the guilt is a part of that. Um, if you do something wrong, so you you say sorry to them. That's it. If you die, then it's fine. So what to do? You don't do this to uh, repeat it again. That's it. Or if you want to give some money to somebody, you'll give to uh, children. That's it. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, that's that. You know, see, guilt. You need to take it very seriously. The guilt motivate you to move forward. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. The guilt feeling, guilt feeling, make you to uh, move in a higher, uh, higher level. It take you to the um, next plane of life. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sir, some some of us um, yeah. are revolving around guilt and uh, yeah. um, somewhere we are stuck in the guilt. So yeah. that, I mean, what you are telling us, guilt helps us to move. Um, yes. But sometimes, most of the time, um, for example, somebody wants to, with the diet, somebody wants yeah. to, uh, they, they want to have a routine, but somehow they're not able to. Then they tend to eat, then they feel guilty. So this is a, a, a circle that is always going around and around. Um, and guilt is there. Uh, so uh, to help them move towards the uh, Maslow's hierarchy, to help them move towards the next stage uh, without they revolving around the same thing with this guilt um, uh, is also a challenge sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything is challenge. Everything. Nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. <laughs> Logotherapy, nothing is easy. No, nothing will come uh, easily. You need to work on it. See, the guilt, you need to tell the client that, uh, see, if you murder somebody, that is a different issue. Uh, that is not existential guilt. Existential guilt, what I try to say, see, um, uh, I grown up, my mother take care of me, uh, but I'm not addressing my mother in such a manner until she became old age. No? Uh, that gave me a guilt. I, I took a lot of things from my father. Uh, uh, because my father spent a lot of money for, for my education, uh, but I, I doubt whether I pay back properly. You understand? That is there. Um, um, so it helps me to uh, what is called um, uh, my selfishness has gone. My entitlement. My early I used to think it's my entitlement. Now I don't feel I'm not entitled. Uh, you understand that feeling of entitlement is very harm, very harmful. You do all see the um, 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 what is called the rape rapist. You feel that every woman's body. I'm entitled to woman's body, but he's not entitled. He doesn't have the right over others' body. Uh, even property, uh, I don't have. A, uh, I have a paper of my property, but doesn't mean I have ulti uh, uh, ultimate uh, right over that. I cannot dig and uh, uh, go under in search of petroleum in my land. I cannot do that. And the government give a draft of uh, a paper that you only use that. You cannot dig in your, your own. If you found some treasure, you, you it's not yours. You have to give us hand it over to the government. That's not yours. If you found some gold coin in your, your own house, you cannot take it. It's a government property. So, see, no one is entitled here. Uh, the feeling of entitlement has gone. Um, because the guilt, guilt feeling comes, then only really your feeling of entitlement will go. I think you're confused. Yeah, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Um, because uh, guilt is contradictory to acceptance, right? See, uh, yeah. uh, it's uh, uh, like uh, you have to accept something, but uh, the guilt is just contradictory. So both are different. So how can yeah, 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 yeah. somebody... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I'll tell you, I, I'll start with a simple example. See, I, I do not know that you beat your children. I, I have never done that. But sometimes we need to scold them. Sometimes we need to beat also. Um, then we feel guilty. 
uh, that guilt is not necessary. That we did that, it definitely we feel guilt. So the next time we will not do that. Uh, you will get angry, but you are not supposed to do physical violence. Uh, that guilt, it, it's 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 enriching you uh, to do the tagging. If you don't feel guilty, you do this again. That's why you you need to make people guilty in your clinic. No, you make people understand the guilt. Otherwise, no, they will not grow. Um, when I uh, scold my daughter, then I feel guilty. Um, the next time I I don't scold in that way. I I I, I, I try to uh, discipline her in a polished manner. <laughs> you understand? Uh, in that way, I enrich myself. I'm um, uh, that helps me in my personal growth. If I don't feel guilty, I'll do again, again, I'll do the same thing. Uh, and if I am not saying thank you to my mother, then I feel entitled, no? Uh, then I do the same thing. I will not take care of her properly. If I, if I feel guilt, then will I do that properly? The guilt, guilt is very much essential to do our uh, functions properly. See, for an example, if you work in office, uh, somebody don't do much work. They simply room around, they uh, fake, fake people, uh, um, they don't much work, but some people feel guilty of taking salary and they need to do it properly. We are, we are taking salary, so I need to do the prop. The, the person who feels guilty, you will do work properly. The person who is not feeling guilty, you don't do work properly. You just fool around. Okay. The guilt is very much essential to make you a good citizen. Um, so are you telling are you telling this sir that when we feel guilty and when we learn from that guilt then we move forward yes when, yes yes so when we feel guilty and when we are stuck in that then we are always revolving around so no that's that's we need acceptance that's why you're telling acceptance we need to accept see this is a part of life okay. Um, okay. you cannot live without hurting somebody else it's a part of life okay. um so i did this because I, 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 I doesn't have uh, any other options. I did that. So, so next guilt, time we try to, uh, yeah, guilt the guilt is then, okay. acceptance. Okay, guilt and then acceptance and then there comes learning. So yeah, that acceptance. Is, okay. Yeah, okay. acceptance. Accept. You need accept because, see, why, see, uh, why do you uh, go and scold your child? You are not going to gain anything out of it. But sometimes you have to do this. So you need to accept it. At the same time, you feel guilty of scolding her. At the same time, it's, it's, it's necessary. It's, uh, we have to do that. You need to accept it. It's a part of life. Um, the, see, why we are addressing the guilt, some people won't feel, they won't introspect. They'll simply uh, outward, uh, they simply look outward and uh, they fake uh, uh, happy life. They're, when we discuss with them, uh, they feel a lot of guilt. And we will make them to feel guilt, then make them to understand, then only they will grow. Yeah. Okay. See, even see, I, see, I used to tell my clients sometimes the anxiety. Um, I'll tell them, you are creating anxiety, you are making your own life. I feel guilty of the person for being anxious. You are creating anxiety uh, only to make your life hell. So I need not harm others, I can harm myself also. Um, like dharma, uh, I can use little Sanskrit word, dharma. When you are doing dharma, there is one thing called sudharma. You need to do justice yourself. You understand? We cannot always do charity to others. You need to do charity yourself, your body. You need to take care of your body. You need to take, take care of uh, yourself. If you are not doing that, the guilt can be converted to self also. I am not taking care of myself. I, ne I, I need to feel guilty. It's not only uh, doing something to others. Even I'm not studying properly, I need to feel guilty because I'm fool around. Um, uh, it's not fair, I'm fooling my father, it's fooling myself. So you should feel guilty. I wasted my time. Uh, the time I might have used in a constructive manner. Okay. So one, one small question. Uh, yes, sir. yes. So, yes, so yes. you are saying uh, that guilt is a driving force of human behavior and but this goes against the principle of freedom. Like if you're externally creating guilt for someone, then uh, the, where's the freedom? No, 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 no. I, I never ask you, uh, because when talking, it will come like that. I never ask you to create guilt in your client. But they will come with certain guilt. You need to help them to overcome. I never tell them to uh, make them feel guilty. I, I don't like that, but 
um, that's why see, I have no other way to express that. Uh, we should not uh, make other guilty. They will come with some guilt. We should help them to address it. We, could, we can help them to accept it. Um, mm. We should help them. The guilt is a part of life. We should help <coughs> them to uh, overcome the guilt. Um, I, I never said that uh, making people guilty. I, I don't like that, but it's a way of communication. No? I cannot so, communicate that in a different manner. Um, the acceptance is very, very important. You need to accept your guilt. You need to accept your um, uh, inadequacies. You need to accept your um, skills. Like the positive, positive side of human being, you need to accept your negative side also. Okay. okay. Thank you. That was a beautiful explanation on uh, feeling guilt, sir. So let's move on, sir. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, that loneliness creating some issues that we can uh, discuss again, once again in the evening. Um, so now... Um, I give you some exercises. Then we can close this, uh, uh, this session today. Yes, sir. Uh, the exercises, uh, see, yesterday I give you to find out your strength and uniqueness. Uh, today, and we discuss about inner calling. Today we are focusing on inner calling. Can you find out what is your inner calling? Write a sheet of paper and write it down. What is your inner calling? Yeah, example, sir. Inner calling is something that only you can do. No, no one can do that. That is inner calling. It's a little um, uh, difficult, but you need to find out it. So it will be Thank multiple you. or one. It can, will, be sir, it can be multiple. It can be multiple. It can be it can be multiple, but it will be connected with one core uh, core calling. It may be multiple. Uh, okay, it manifests sir. it manifests in a multiple uh, multiple way, but the, it should be one. There should be one core uh, aspects. Can you give an example from your end, sir? See, my inner calling is, see, um, I told you today about my mystical experience. Um, at the time of my that experience, I felt abundance of joy. Um, and uh, it's like in Sanskrit, it's called Anand. I was in a state of um, abundant Anand. joy, abundant joy. Then I found out People around me, no one is experiencing that joy. Everybody is having little problem. And uh, some of them are faking joy, like um, they are cracking jokes and uh, um, they are drinking, they are laughing, but they are faking. No one is uh, experiencing that joy. I have slowly understand. And somebody accumulate wealth and somebody did this, that, somebody rose into big position, but no one is that much happy. Then I found out how to share that to people. Um, slowly, slowly, I started because it's a possible. I understand the joy is possible because I experienced, you know, uh, that how to share to people. That was a very big challenge. I was not able to find the way. It took years for me to find out the way to uh, make people experience that joy. But slowly, slowly, I understand the logotherapy is closer to that. It's not exactly that. It's closer to that. So I, I was a behavior therapist. I slowly I become a logo therapist because uh, um, because it's 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 give you that joy. Not that exactly, but it's, it 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 take you closer to that. Okay. Then I understand. I, I I told you I was having a lot of problem with fear, anxiety, panic attack. So many I used to experience a lot of problems. But I understand if I have this problem, I cannot um, do justice to my. Um, this uh, I cannot make others happy. I understand because my only way to express this is explaining people. Uh, if I have the fear, then I cannot explain. 
i cannot go around i cannot uh, fly i cannot uh, um, um, express in a stage um, then uh, i started working on that but i didn't work much because it has gone automatically when i started doing this it has gone automatically see that my ultimate aim is that making as many people as possible to reach that joyful state but the joy will not come automatically that you need to work it on that but logotherapy is a little closer to that okay sir thank you yeah we will write, we are writing sir yeah yeah Uh, anyone can um, tell me what you wrote in the paper? Anyone can tell me? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, this is yeah. Hannah here. Yeah. Uh, just switch on my video also. Yeah. Sir, uh, thank you so much for your explanation on uh, several things, uh, authenticity especially. And uh, there is, uh, the, when I think about inner calling, there yeah. are some uh, few facts are coming into my mind. There's yeah. one is about whatever I have received, I want to share it with others. So there okay. is the inner calling, what I feel is serve the humanity, serve the nature. So is it uh, that I can call it as inner calling or uh, can you? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yes, me? yes, yes, yes. That is inner calling. That is inner calling. But inner calling arose, you cannot sit back. Then you act immediately. Um, yes, sir. The winner calling now it, it it's it's aroused. Then yeah. you then no one will stop you. Then you you started acting immediately. And also that gives me a lot of joy and happiness when I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you 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 don't you don't stop it. You started doing that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, so I would like to add. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, just a, a very similar. Along the lines of the previous caller, uh, mine was um, wanting to help and enrich, enrich the life of others. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, we are able to hear you, sir, Father. Ah, okay, I can't hear. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sorry, sorry I, I lost you there. Sorry, mine was in fact is wanting to help and enrich, enrich the life of others. And I feel I've started that in a sense by doing counseling courses and, and learning a lot more about uh, counseling. Yeah, yeah, sir. That's that's right. Yeah. That is that is inner calling. Mm, sir, yeah, I would like to add. Yeah, so actually I already had my inner calling, uh, which I'm very successful there. Uh, I'm a designer. So as a long uh, from uh, after my college days, I wanted to become a designer, and right now I'm a designer. But right now I I have one more inner calling, which I because I completed my uh, psychology in uh, two, 2018, uh, but I did not do did anything professionally after that. So I wanted to become a life coach. Uh, the way people are struggling right now, in COVID. Uh, so and this logo therapy is very useful. Already I know solution focused therapy and few other therapy, but this logo therapy is very useful for me to making people uh, think in very positive way. Yeah, so that is my inner calling right now, to, make, to become a life coach and make sure that people help in uh, different ways, yeah. yeah. See, uh, my suggestion is you can use uh, other therapies also, like yeah, yeah, right. therapy CBT, and you can mix Excellent. this. You can yeah. mix this, that's so, it. Solution-focused uh, therapy, I, I know already. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also very become similar to this uh, local therapy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, uh, when you're talking about the loneliness side, 
so i thinking yeah. about like making people self awareness is like a key to uh, us right so uh, even it is a lonely thing things yeah first they have to understand the self itself and then yeah. they will make to new opportunities whatever they mm. yeah yeah you are right you are right you are right yeah yeah you are right yeah any other response uh, <clears throat> uh yes sir this is kalpana surikumar yeah yeah uh, my inner calling is uh, be happy and make others happy okay so how, can, how do you do that uh, i am a counseling psychologist okay, okay. so at, at the end of every session i, I see at least i will uh, i see that my client goes with a happy face okay, okay. and and initially first i want to be happy So, yeah, yeah. Uh, spiritual practices uh, like meditation, gratitude, all those things, you know, uh, enriches my happiness. So, okay. can we call it as an inner calling, sir? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, you can. You oh. can, you can call, you can call it, you can call yes. it. Yeah. Um, see that. Um, um, I'll see. Add one more things. This logo therapy is a spiritual therapy. Um, there are four aspects of human. Uh, one is the physical, physical aspects, uh, emotional aspects, social aspects, and fourth one is the spiritual aspects. The logo therapy is addressing the spiritual aspects. Mm. Um, it's a, the inner calling. This meaning. These are spiritual questions. Mm. Um, so that without addressing any religion, um, mm. uh, this is not religion. Uh, like mm. Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Islam is not a religion, but it's addressing the spiritual aspects of human. Uh, mm-hmm. the human basically has the question why i am here what is my purpose why why i born these are all spiritual questions although mm-hmm. this logotherapy is addressing the spiritual questions this is yeah. spirituality this uh, logotherapy is nothing but a spirituality it is addressing yeah, the spiritual yeah. aspects of human being yeah, the psychiatry yeah. the psychiatry addresses the physical aspects the behavior therapy addressing your social aspects and uh, um, uh, client centered therapy addressing your emotional aspects and uh, logo therapy addressing your spiritual aspects spiritual okay yeah. yes yeah. sir yeah thank you yeah, when, when, when i said spiritual say... practice uh, yeah i, I didn't yeah. mean about re- religious practice i meant uh, meditation no. gratitude like that yeah yeah the problem when we call about spirituality uh, it's religion so it's closely related so when okay. we call it spiritual uh, okay. um, normally the people think about a religious, the religious even, medi- okay. even meditation even meditation is religious really neutral So you ask if you ask them people to watch their breathing but people think it's a hindu things mm. uh is nothing but god it's about okay. breathing it's about breathing but people think it's a hindu thing breathing. that we cannot yes. avoid we cannot avoid it yes. that's why in our logotherapy we never talk about uh, religion but it's actually yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually arousing the the man's spiritual aspects it satisfies yeah. the spiritual question of the human okay yes yeah. yes okay any other hi sir uh, linsey yeah. here yeah um, so i wanted to ask something uh, related to the logo therapy so yeah. as you said the inner calling uh, um, being a, being a adolescent i have got my inner calling at the age of 18 so when i have chosen my field to serve the people i have started to uh, serve the people in the way of nursing uh, okay. so now i have found that after finishing my nursing i have been begin my job with a, a teaching profession where i have been okay. training a uh, adolescents who okay. has entered into the nursing sir so i okay. found that people has been not having some meaning in their life uh, when the adolescents being in same age now i could feel that mm. when we have entered and there is there was no much um, difference or vari- variation in age but still i found that after being uh. five years or six years difference the generation gap has been mm. seen that the adolescents have been much different and they have been living a life why they have entered into the nursing or why they have chosen a field they are not aware about that mm. uh, so i found that yeah. uh, sir being uh, i was not much aware about that but still i entered into the psychiatric nursing but here too we are having mm. some physical uh, as we, you have said that physical aspects will be studied in psychiatric but still we are also being mm. much focusing on emotional aspects too <laughs> So, sir, um, do you feel that logo therapy can be applied on the adolescents to improve their self-esteem and to find their meaning? Do you feel? Yes, that? yes, 
Yes, yes. See, the logotherapy is directly related to nursing. Yes, sir. The most of the nursing practitioners, they uh, attend my workshops because they're dealing with a, a, a patient. Yes, and they are dealing with uh, what is called, especially those who are terminally ill. Um, yes, they lost that uh, um, uh, because we, have, we told about we are lonely. No? The person mm -hmm. will feel lonely once he got cancer. Um, when you are admitted in hospital, um, the people will not, they will come regularly, daily. And slowly, yes. slowly they, they drop coming because they are busy, you know, their own life. They need to earn, they need to take care of the family. And the children, they will not come daily. Then they understand the loneliness. Uh, so they, the, uh, the death is one side and the pain is another side. And they feel emotionally, they get a shock because uh, they assume a lot of people around, but now nobody is coming. And they are coming mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, rarely. So they, they started feeling that. So, yes, so in this time, the logotherapy helped them to understand um, uh, the life is lonely. Previously, also they are lonely. Yes, uh, now also they are lonely. And their pain they have to undergo. They cannot, the wife or children cannot take the pain out of them. No, if we, if we got a cancer, the tumor, I cannot share half of my tumor to my wife. Uh, so the tumor is mine. I know the experience, you know. When you make them understand and make them to make them spiritual, if they go to spiritual side, the pain will reduce. The pain will be there, but they understand the purpose of their uh, suffering. Um, yes, so the nursing is very closely related to uh, this logotherapy. Okay, sir. Definitely, so the, definitely, the, definitely, the, definitely the youngsters, especially the nursing staff, you need to make them understand the job is very uh, um, noble job. Because yeah. see, the, um, uh, I'm guiding students also. There is a, one nursing student, he's my student. Um, um, so she come with a questionnaire and when she asks, why do you take up nursing job? Most of them say we got a guaranteed job. And someone yeah. says a good salary. And uh, somebody yeah. says that we can go abroad easily. So this was responses. But no, very few people says I can um, um, I can serve the uh, uh, this one no? uh, the healing process. Um, very few wrote. Most of them are job oriented. Most of them get uh, I get a job immediately. Most of them says I can go to abroad easily because the nursing job is demand. <laughs> uh, so the very few felt that my job is very uh, uh, sacred. Uh, I can help people healing. Yes, sir. The nurse is more important than the doctor. Doctor only prescribe the medicine and he will go. Uh, mm -hmm. Nursing is more important in the healing process. Yes, sir. So it's yes, very sir. important. It's very important make the uh, sort of understand the life is very meaningful. Um, then only they can take to their client, take to the patients. Yeah, sure, sir. You make them understand, uh, give this exercise, like they, uh, ask them to find out their strength, ask them to find out their inner calling, then they will, uh, it will come to them. Okay, sir. so is there if any other ready? exercise I can apply on them so that they can easily understand? See, I have a set of questions, 15 questions, that okay. 15, 20 questions that I cannot share in this platform because time consuming. I can send it to you privately, you can send it to your students. Okay, you so can apply so. it to your student because the classroom now every day, once a week you apply one question, let them uh, answer to the question and uh, after one week you get another question. Within uh, three, four months they will uh, they, um, they will transform. Okay, okay. sure, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. I'll, I'll give you the questions. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you, sir. I cannot share this platform because uh, it's very time consuming. Okay, okay sir. I can yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah, sir. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah. Any other question? Or any other inner calling? Uh, sir, um, actually, I didn't know my inner calling uh, for so many years. Um, yeah. I was completely in a search, uh, like 17 years before I did my counseling. And then yeah. I went to yoga, meditation and all that. So I, I was not aware what is my inner calling. Um, oh. But it was a constant search. And once uh, uh, many people were coming uh, and talking to me about their very personal things and they wanted a solution. So I was stuck and I didn't know what to do. Um, and then when I talked to them, then I found a happiness, a joy in me. 
then uh, at that time i had an understanding that being present for another person who needs uh, this is my inner calling so uh, after so many years uh, this has come to me and yeah, yeah. Uh, so i'm studying counseling i'm going back to the counseling and other things now okay. Uh, okay and this gives me joy so i think this is my inner calling yeah yeah definitely sure sure definitely definitely see um i was in tata institute of social sciences there is i call um the person in um distress they can call them the telephonically it's a counseling telephone counseling um see somebody want to commit suicide they will call um then the counselor tell them okay i I'll, i'll i'll discuss with you tomorrow also then they won't commit suicide till tomorrow morning then they'll call tomorrow morning and they'll call tomorrow evening and this will continue they will not commit suicide because somebody is there to listen to me that will give uh, hope in their life so nobody is listening to me now that's why i want to commit my uh, commit suicide somebody is listening at least somebody is there to share my problem um uh, so that just your presence just listening to them it make lot of things you need not do any great thing just listen to people that's it just be present there that's it it you do lot of things in this world yes. okay i understand what you are trying to communicate you are getting joy in that i understand yeah yes. yeah yeah and counseling is a very definitely a noble job and if you do in a right manner uh because the telephone that telephone uh, i call center not at institute they do they are not skill psychologists they just listen to people they don't do anything they will tell my mother in law did this my father did this oh, oh what happened next they will only listen they won't do anything and the word nursery is listening if you listen then uh, see uh, the um victor franklin wrote in a case in his book um she so one lady called him in the midnight at the night at 1:30 he picked up the phone and uh, uh, the, the counseling the counseling goes on by telephone and uh, she called next day also and she told uh, victor franklin after 6 months i was about to commit suicide now i am not committing suicide because somebody is there to listen to me at midnight uh, he has not did, did anything great he just listened to the lady at midnight that's it so she understand somebody is there in the world to listen so there is no uh, other way she might have committed suicide so that case is he report in the book that uh, uh, man search for meaning book it is there thank you thank you sir and one more case is reported in the book it's a victor franklin's book she one old doctor uh, approached him um, because he is very sad because he lost his wife he loved his wife so much so he approached him um, for a depression uh, but the doctor uh, uh, franklin told him he listened to him first listened to him so half an hour or not then told him see what i can say if you lost your wife that i cannot bring back your wife but you love i love her so much you just think that if you die and uh, uh, if she is al- alive then what uh, what amount of pain she will undergo now you relieved her so this doctor immediately felt happy because he he relieved his wife all this pain now immediately got happy he uh, stood up and shake his hand and went away this this case reported by victor uh, fang in his book i hope you understand yeah yes sir it's beautiful yeah. thank you yeah so you need not do great therapies uh this very simple thing will help a uh, lot of things in others life like just he ask him okay you love her so much and if you die and uh, wife is alive and uh, what type of pain she will undergo you you relieved her that's what he told so this guy's depression has gone <laughs> because his pain has become a, a he found a meaning for his um so just uh, uh raising a just a observation in terms yeah. of guilt quite often in fact uh, very wealthy people or you know rich people generally sometimes um, give away philanthropy so to speak yeah, yeah, yeah. but could could philanthropy um, yeah, is it always guilt or could it be that there is uh, 
uh, some sort of gratitude, like, you know, I've done well, so let me return something. Is that, is that uh, quite the same thing? So yeah, yeah, it may be a gratitude, it may be guilt also, whatever. Um, right. uh, it may be gratitude also. There is, see, some people will give back. See, I'll tell you, uh, the amount of money I spend for my education is very less. Uh, it's less than my one month salary. <laughs> uh, yeah. because, because the government, the government, uh, uh, I was in an aided school. I was in an aided college. Uh, the amount I paid for my fees is less than my one month salary. So that I need to pay back. Uh, it's not necessarily money. Um, we can pay back in whatever way we can. Like we can enlighten people, we can teach them, we can uh, work in um, some meaningful uh, things like like ec ecological, uh, 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 what is called conservation, yeah. or make people aware of uh, um, uh, global warming. And so, so many ways you can work. It's not necessarily uh, paying money. If you have a lot of money, you can pay. Uh, see, we do not have that much money. We are not like uh, Ajim Premji, you know. We are not like that. So we need not pay money, but we can do whatever you have. We have knowledge, you can share it. We have time, we can share it. Uh, Ajit Premji have a lot of money. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's giving money. You can give time. You can give your uh, knowledge. You can give your skill. That, that way also you can be charitable. Okay. It can be gratitude also. And gratitude is one of the very, uh, in religion, uh, before eating, now we, we chant some prayer. It's only to uh, develop the gratitude. But most of them are not getting the gratitude. It become a ritualistic aspects. Uh, that's why we discard religion. In logotherapy, we make them uh, aware of the gratitude directly. We'll ask them to write the name of the person uh, you want to uh, give, uh, express your thanks. And then ask them to call them telephonically <laughs> or go, go to them directly and tell them to express your uh, gratitude. Like, thank you so much for your, uh, you, you go and express like that. See, the religion, the purpose of the, that, that is only make the person gratitude, but it's not happening in 95 cases, 95% cases. So that's why we are cut short the religion and go back to uh, the human special question directly. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Gratitude also work, gratitude also work. And this gratitude, uh, it gives you a lot of joy um, when you express. We are not able, but the ego is very problematic. Uh, <laughs> so if you shed your ego, if you express, you will get a lot of joy. Any other question? See, I'm expecting everyone should ask the questions. Only few people are asking questions and others can also ask questions. So you need not um, feel shy, you can ask questions. So that I understand that uh, you are able to follow. <laughs> if you ask question, then I'll understand. Sir, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, please, please, yeah. Uh, this is about um, the authenticity and also yeah. you share a little bit about uh, uh, being lonely or not yeah. being uh, uh, dependent. Uh, yeah. So my question is, we are relational being and uh, yeah. some, somewhere we feel, uh, somewhere we feel, I mean, is it audible, sir? Somewhere yeah, yeah, sorry, we, uh, sorry. Yeah. We, we have... Uh, a interpersonal relationship, especially when we are with families. So yeah. there are some expectations. So yeah. where do we draw a line there, sir? No, I see. I never said our logotherapy never ask you to hate others. It's never ask you to um, go out of uh, your, your family. It's never said like that. But it's make you understand your responsibility for your own um, well-being. Or your own ill being. Um, so the loneliness means that alone. It's not lonely. You are alone. It's not lonely. Um, when you are when you are you are not alone. You are you are not lonely, but you are alone. 
it means that you are living with the family you are living with children mother parent wife as as everybody is there but something happening in your head uh, depression or anxiety or guilt that is yours that you need to address you cannot expect somebody and come forward and help you they will help you uh, but you need to uh, work it on that and your pain you need to experience you cannot see when you are getting headache you cannot get angry on others so that you need to work it on it uh, people are there um, um, to help you but this is sole your responsibility sole responsibility and uh, um a lot of people are there to help you like this is a counseling why we, why we are doing counseling we are helping others no yes at the same time the client should understand that is his responsibility to take message from you yeah uh, see yeah. we are we are we are talking we are giving therapy we are giving uh, whatever we are giving some home exercise but that is his responsibility to do that he cannot blame anyone else that he should own the responsibility yeah. even pain yeah. or pleasure the pain or pleasure that he need experience by himself um it doesn't mean that uh, because we are here we are social being we cannot live alone um it doesn't means that uh, uh hate others Yes. worldly things you have to understand our responsibility okay, sir. yeah uh, sir there was one more question yeah yeah um, from another person sir mike is not working so uh, how do we get uh, how how do we get to detachment mindset of events and emotions that happen in our life is there any practice to follow to get uh, get to this mindset over a period of time yeah yeah so there are i told you you cannot use logotherapy uh, alone you can mix other therapies also like the meditations the purpose of meditation is cultivating the um, um, habit of detachment like uh, like when you are doing some there are different type of meditation like watch, watching breathe attending your breath so when you are attending your breath so what happen lot of thoughts waves will happen some emotions will happen in your head some thoughts will come but here we are instructing them to ignore that thought just watch your breath when you are engaging your mind with something else the thoughts will flow but you are not uh, um, um, taking part in that otherwise now you will engage with that thought here while doing meditation you will not engage your thought you just allow it to happen so you are detaching from your own thoughts similarly if you if you do this practice regularly then you can uh, develop the habit of detachment and see um, um when you are doing this meditation you will get all the sound of vehicles outside uh, the fan sound but you are not uh, 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 engage with it you just ignore it like the bird will uh, uh, bird sound will uh, you will hear the bird sound but your mind will not go there your mind will stick to breathing so this is a breathing watching breathing or doing some uh, um, uh, mantra meditations or concentrating on uh, somewhere in the body all these things are only the uh, help you to detach yourself from your own thoughts when you are able to detach your thoughts you will learn how to detach from emotions because the emotions lies with the thought without that you cannot feel emotions thought is responsible for uh, your emotions or your memory your memory is stored in the stored in the thoughts and the uh, emotions is stored in the thoughts when you are able to stop your thoughts or when you are able to ignore the thoughts you will cultivate the habit of detachment then slowly slowly you will understand how to detach yourself from um, so many things happening around and it's not very easy but through practice you will gain and some people by just discussing the logotherapy they will they will they will pick up very easily but some people need some practice like this meditation practice so another question yeah uh, see the the person is in out station okay uh, totally different about uh, 2000 kilometers away from the family okay okay yeah this uh, the the person is ad- uh, attached and very close to uh, uh, the sli- sibling brother or sister okay okay 
and uh, there is something happening in the family and they know the person uh, and they know they don't want to get involved in you know like you know they say for example they don't want to get married okay either of the siblings they don't mm. want to get married okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the, the family is uh, pushing mm -hmm. to get them married mm -hmm. so but even genuinely when the person is not well say for example is a hospitalized mm. the people brand them like you know they are making all the drama mm. to avoid any connection with the uh, situation mm -hmm. so there is a, there are two problems one the problem with the uh, the, the relative the parents or uncle or whatever Mm. and there is a problem with the uh, uh, self mm. like whether i am you know really doing you know the, when you keep saying that you are doing drama you are doing drama then we also mm. get doubt that whether i am i am myself is you know, b b dramatizing the whole thing mm -hmm. how do we work on that sir sir that is authenticity no why do you do drama when you are authentic when you are genuine You right. need to do drama, no? It's a, it's a lack of genuinity. It's lack of authenticity. Uh, see, when my sibling is, when your sibling, when the person sibling is uh, need help, um, if we can help, we can go and help. If I have some problem, we can tell him. You know, no, I'm I'm very busy. I'm not able to come there. The honesty, you no, know, you cannot do any drama. Uh, to be honest, because I have some work to do today, or my daughter is not well. I need to address this. I'm not able to come. Tell it slightly. No, no, sir. There is no there there is no uh, uh, disturbance between the sibling relationship. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. So the siblings are talking to each other and uh, trying to find a way. Mm -hmm. But genuinely, when there when others are saying that you know mm -hmm. you people are doing drama, mm -hmm. it it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That you should know how to ignore others. See you, you. you that's why i am told you you are alone you cannot depend on others for your own um, um what is called your own joy your own you cannot depend on others so joy is yours see when i do my job properly i feel joy i do, i don't want recognition from others if you say oh, you did good i don't feel happy if you say you are not done properly I, i don't feel sad because i i know how to do my job no like uh, i know what is ethics i know what is right or what is wrong i know my limitations i know my capacities i do my my i just, i do justice to my own things no i don't depend on others to get joy if somebody recognizes it's fine otherwise it's also fine look okay. i am no more depending on anyone else it's like see, see i'll tell you the mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi is no more in a position uh, he was not in a position to receive uh, 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 this one uh, recognition of others that's called a self actualization Uh, the people, those who are in the lower uh, 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 category of the Maslowian hierarchy, they they need uh, recognition of others, like belongingness. The people are uh, at, at the belongingness stage; they want recognition of others. If you rose little bit higher, you don't want recognition. You you recognize other people. When you when you are self, you are self actualized, you know you don't want the recognition of others. They they do not hurt you. If somebody say he is doing drama. you laugh at them that's it you do you don't want recognition from them and you are doubtful of your own deed you you need uh, the recognition of others no you are sure about what you are doing then why do you get uh, uh, feeling of heart or why do why do you get feeling of joy if somebody says ah, you are doing wonderful i don't get joy because i know what i am doing or somebody says you are not doing things properly i don't get uh, feeling heart because i know what i am doing and what i can do i know that so the dependency the dependency you need to overcome yeah, that's a beautiful answer sir yeah the Thank dependency you. that's a dependency you're depending dependency. on others to get your own joy the joy is not in somebody's pocket to uh, give uh, take and give to you it is yours is so your self is when you long, it, when you long you... for others acknowledgement then uh, actually you are inviting the Yes, yes, yes. No, see, people are not there to acknowledge you all the time. No, 
Yes, sir. There are people are not there to. Um, um, uh, you are not the king. They will not chant. <laughs> 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 See that <laughs> even people are saying the uh, people do this to king only for expecting the money from the king. <laughs> so uh, when you are in the masculine hierarchy, the higher hierarchy, you, you need not get recognition from others. And similarly, you don't take others' critical comment also. You just laugh and you just move. And if you are sure, if you are sure what you are doing, then we will not ask others, am I doing correctly? You will not ask others. If you are doubtful, then you ask others. Then you are expecting somebody will come forward, give feedback. See, I don't take feedback from you people because I know what I am doing. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I don't, I don't take feedback. I don't take feedback. If you give feedback, I listen. I, 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 no, no, I, I, I take feedback only to improve. <laughs> only to improve, but I know what I'm doing. And uh, I know my upper limit, I know my lower limit also. <laughs> That's a beautiful answer, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other question? So before the break, would you like to give any uh, any exercise so that uh, when you come back, we can work on that? Uh, no, you work on your inner calling because so many people are struggling with that. Okay. Um, because I give so many exercises, then it will become a burden. And, okay. Uh, some say I gave you that day, that is not fully logotherapy. That is for some personal growth exercises. Okay. And I will add, uh, that is a little bit of uh, logotherapy and 60% uh, of personal growth. But here the topic is on logotherapy. <laughs> I don't want to give other uh, uh, exercises. Uh, so you work on inner calling. Okay. And the evening I'll give you some exercise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, friends. Uh, shall we uh, break for lunch? Uh, and we can get back at uh, 3 o'clock. I mean, 4 o'clock. Just no, I'm, question, I'm, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting everyone should ask questions because in the group, I think some 18, 19 people are there, yeah. but only four or five are asking questions and others, I do not know what others are doing. I'm expecting them to ask because be confident, ask questions. Don't yes. feel, uh, okay, ask me, ma'am, ma ask. Uh, I, will, sir, I will send the uh, list, sir. I will send the list of people, names. Yeah, yeah. So you can, you know, and whoever has asked questions also, I'll mention. So you can call up people and ask yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the right thing, sir. That's the right thing, sir. Okay, I'll call by name and ask them to ask a question. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ask me. Yeah. Uh, sir, yes, uh, sir, one last question, sir. Uh, uh, sir, this is no, regarding... There is no last question. You can ask yes, as many questions as possible. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, we understand our inner calling. We, uh, we yeah. try to respond to our inner calling. Yeah, then yeah. when we are doing it, because I am also an academician uh, and at the same time I am doing counseling. I have my own center. Uh, okay. So when I'm doing it, uh, somewhere I feel that uh, uh, I am little overwhelmed by uh, the number of appointments or uh, uh, the work what I do as an academician. Then it uh, sometimes it is uh, I feel it is uh, my plate is already full. A kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, so is it right or uh, should I work on certain uh, aspects of my life? No, no. You need to uh, see. I. Um, um, uh, for other questions, I was talking about dharma, and there is one thing called sudharma. I'm okay. doing uh, dharma to others. I need to do dharma to myself also. So you need to take care of yourself also. Um, you need to take care of yourself. Uh, you cannot ignore your health. You cannot ignore your uh, timing. You cannot see. Uh, I know some people always do something for outside world, and they do nothing for their family. Uh, I know some people like that. Um, um, uh, I'm not addressing you, uh, uh, like taking care of ourselves is also very important, like proper sleep, proper food and proper rest and proper, uh, what is called, um, uh, see, I, I do, uh, something now, nice. some a few days I will, I will, I will, I will, I will escape. I'll go somewhere without my phone. Okay. Uh, I have, I have some secret place to stay. Okay. Uh, it, it's my, it's only my cousin's place, but nobody can um, trace me. I'll, I'll 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 be there for two days. It's 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 only for me to uh, do my own um, uh, what is called. Um, yes, sir. 
uh, I need a rest. Okay. And uh, I need my own uh, uh, introspection. I, I need my own time. I need my own introspections. I'm always talking to people. Uh, I need to uh, take my own uh, introspection. No? I, make, I make people to introspect, but I need to introspect myself. So I do this uh, once in two months. Uh, okay. so, uh, so that I'm not asking you to do that, but we need to have our own personal time, uh, our own personal space. And uh, I need to take care of myself. Um, that That's is also very, very important. important. That is also very important. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That you need not feel guilt about it. When there are uh, 200 clients a day, then you cannot do justice for that. Uh, you can restrict to 100 or you can restrict to 50. It's whatever uh, comfortable for you. Otherwise, mm. you cannot justice for others. Then if yeah, you become tired, it. if you mm. become tired, you cannot do that tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For, a, for a longer run, you need to take care of yourself also. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Any sir, for your time. Yeah. Any other question or shall we close? Krishnan, sir. Sir, can I ask you something? Yeah, please. Please, yeah. Sir, actually, I, I do a lot of counseling for school children. And the okay. basic problem I find is they usually select a group which they think will suit them. They select the group. But in yeah. the midday, they feel so confused. They want to get out of it. But yeah. they don't have choice also. Mm -hmm. So you are telling that if we make them understand what is the purpose, why they have taken that group, so, but mm. if they are not in a position to accept it. If they are, don't want to explore the purpose of their life, what do mm. I do? Then? Because they are usually aged around uh, 15 to 17. Mm. Yeah. So this age group, uh, it's very difficult to uh, apply logotherapy to this group. Mm. Because we are talking about anxiety, we are talking about guilt, we are talking about death, we are talking about... So this group are a very hope, hopeful group. Uh, mm. They dream, they dream. They assume that they will get a big job. They'll become a, a next uh, Sundar Pillai. Everybody think like that. <laughs> and at the age of 30, they will understand uh, most of things is not possible. Um, so see, to understand logotherapy or understand uh, ex existentialism, certain degree of experience is necessary. Okay. Certain degree of maturity, certain degree of uh, uh, sophistication is necessary. But this group is... Um, uh, they are very immature and uh, very impulsive. Um, so logotherapy will not work with them, mm -hmm. but we can make them understand they have some skill, they have some talent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that we can do that. And okay. see, if the child is having some uh, extraordinary skill, see, I'm, I'm telling you, every child has a skill. Mm -hmm. uh, don't assume only singing, dance, uh, poetry, or mathematics. No. There are, see, I saw a child she is exceptional ability to understand, grasp things, mm. even abstract things, even philosophy. When you discuss philosophy, the child will understand very quickly, and the comprehension. Um, so this is also very important. It's not okay. like, like what like uh, uh, what show in the TV. No, TV is not the only source of uh, uh, talent. There are too yeah. many other talents are there, like ability to understand. Um, mm. That is also very important. See, the child need to build a circle. Um, uh, with like-minded, uh, like uh, similar, like a book club. Mm. Uh, uh, if the child is able to read a lot of books, read a lot of books, the child should form a group of book club, people okay. those who read books. That will give a lot of joy to them. If you okay. join other group, some type of random group, see, mostly oh. what happens, the children, they'll become friends with a, who is sitting next mm. or who is coming in the same bus. Mm. Uh, the group forming like this, a uh, social dynamism. Oh. Uh, but you should help them to understand their skill and make them to form a group. Like some children are, see, so I know in this age, you know, that 15, 16, some children mm. are talk with me about global warming. I, I know so many children are talking about global yeah. If I throw the plastic bag, one child will catch me. Uncle, he told, uh, you are doing wrong thing. You are adding to the, he don't decompose. The children are very much aware. Uh, not every child, some child. So you encourage the child to have their own unique, um, 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 what is called a purpose. The child have a purpose in life. Okay. You make, it, uh, make the child understand and help it form that type of group. 
Okay. Uh, like when I was young, uh, I used to climb mountain. So trekking mm. is my hobby. Um, so I need to have a friends similar uh, similar mount, mount, uh, mountain climbing friends. Now, otherwise, uh, uh, I cannot spend much time with them. With them, uh, oh. all the mountain truckers, then I can have a lot of joy with them. Yes. Like every child will have their own hobbies, their own special interests, their own purpose, their own vision. Uh, uh, again, I'm telling you, it's not only the TV. What's showing the talent? The TV is not the talent. We can see a lot of talent in, uh, elsewhere also. Like Salam showed, display a lot of. I, I saw every child display certain uh, sort of things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Child, nowadays, you. nowadays children are talking about uh, uh, global warming. Um, so many things children are talking. Yeah. That our generation uh, not address that issues. Sir, if I may uh, uh, yeah, yeah, interject please, a little. Yeah. I think the I think Sumati ma'am was talking about groups as in selecting the subjects. Science yes, group. Uh, ah, she was talking. Yeah, yeah. So, but I understand that. Of course, if if they suddenly find that uh, what they have done, see, supposing they are in the twelfth standard and they understand that science is not their cup of tea, but uh -huh. uh, I think uh, they can't go back and do something else again. Uh, as a parent, even I feel a bit skeptical if my child does that. So at that mm -hmm. time, maybe I can empower them, saying that, uh, okay, let us identify some of your strengths, and with the help of the strengths, how can I apply it to make them feel better and comfortable to finish off the course? Can I do that? Yeah, definitely you can do. See, um, that will be a better solution, right? Yeah, yeah. See, madam, I I studied science, hmm. and at uh, the degree I took uh, psychology. You can change. You can change stream. It's not a big thing. I know. I was in Tata Institute, so some of the professors are mm. engineers. One mm. one professor is a chemical engineer, okay. and he did MA sociology. Okay. And another another guy is aeronautic engineering, and he did okay. philosophy. MA philosophy. Any time you can change your stream. It's not okay. uh, difficult. Any time you can uh, stay. And one one uh, one madam is a uh, um, high special high doctor. Um, um, she is having a um, ophthalmologist, and mm. she she studied uh, sociology, and she is teaching uh, feminism there, like uh, women studies. So any stream can be. Uh, it's not a. Uh, don't think that you cannot change streams. You can change stream at any time. Let them study science, no problem. But they can become an artist also, mm. uh, um, as a career. In fact, you, uh, yeah. yesterday you were saying how. Uh, uh paradox about paradoxical intention yeah, so yeah. i thought some children as you said they are very scared of the stage and things like that yeah, so yeah. at that time uh, uh helping them it is okay if you don't speak also just go and stand on the stage and come back so some yeah, encouraging yeah. words like that yes yeah, i can borrow yeah. from your teaching and i can apply there so yeah, see, I, I, I was i was in, i was in charge of skill development uh, i was in charge of skill development um, I used to go to seven colleges in Bombay. Uh, there were thousands of students uh, uh, was under this uh, skill development program. There is a program called Youth Leadership and People Skill. And there are a lot of exercises. I'll tell you one exercise uh, to overcome the stage fear. Uh, what the trainers will do, no? They'll simply ask the child to come to stage and go back. Okay. Just come to stage and go back. Uh, every child will call once. You come to stage and go back. Okay. Then they'll come to stage they'll stand like this then go back okay then come to stay, then come to stay tell your name and go back okay. then come to stay shake my hand go back um uh, uh, next time uh, there are 20 children one by one will come to stay um, then uh, seventh round the child will come to stay they tell it's uh, the child tell his father's name and go back and second time she'll come to stay tell the father's name mother's name and what she's doing she'll go back See the end of the day, evening at five o'clock, the child is giving a talk. Oh. The fear has the fear has gone. We can do this, and okay. constantly the con the child come to stay. You clap. The entire class okay. will clap. You need not talk. The child just come to stay. Everyone clap. And second time she come to stay and stand like this, and everyone clap. You can decondition that fear. Uh, that yes. you can uh, when you are a teacher, you can do this. One day, one yes. day you can do this. Sure, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Yeah. Even, uh, the, even at five o'clock, the child started giving a talk. Like, I'm coming from this. This is my dream. Uh, my father doing this. My mother is this. 
the child is giving a, a, a what is called a speech. We can do that because sure. because it be, um, uh, morning at nine o'clock we start. By the time of five o'clock, the child come to stay twenty times. The fear has gone. The decondition and people are constantly clapping. So he got motivated. He got uh, reinforced. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Question, sir. Again, any question or shall we close? Because I don't want to cross uh, your timing because you may also be busy. Okay, I think. Um, yeah. Sir, the 15 questions that you mentioned, can you also share it with us? The 15 questions? Um, like later, not now. Like, uh, is it possible also? We get it. Yeah, 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 it's possible. It's or um, I will. Um, so why, why can't you attend that session? I'll do once in a week, not once in a week. I'll, uh, once in a month, I'll do that session. Yes. Uh, it's a one week, one week program. What I'll do, morning at five, 7 o'clock, I'll post a question in my WhatsApp group. Um, so you have to answer. It'll take only two or three minutes. One question. And evening, again, I'll ask one question. Uh, at 5 o'clock, I'll post one question. You have to spend only three or four minutes. Similarly, seven days, I'll post 14 questions. So it's a graded. The first question is simple. Second question is a little uh, complicated. And uh, seventh day, um, uh, at the fifth day, 14th question, you understand your meaning, purpose, and so many things. We slowly, slowly, because you need not spend much time. You can attend that program. Those who are interested can ask uh, Krishna sir to get my number, and um, you can join that group. Uh, once in a month, I used to do that. Definitely, that program. Sir. It's not hundred percent uh, logotherapy. It's a mix of what I say to the madam. No, like deconditioning the fear. Uh, Sometimes uh, yeah. it's a log some is little logotherapy, little personal growth. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So those who are interested, now you give my number. Let them join. That. Let them join the group. Let them give that, that, that questions. I will do that, sir. Great. The, the posting question will not help. Let them let them answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Rajini, you have a question. No, no. I was uh, only clarifying what uh, Sumati ma'am was saying about group. Okay. Fine. Done. Okay. Thank you, Rajini ma'am. Okay. Thank you and uh, bon appetite. We'll we'll uh, get back at four o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So thank much. you, everybody. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir.